Queues snaked for meters at London's Palace Theatre as Harry Potter fans waited anxiously for the next installment, and they were not disappointed. It was utterly remarkable, just incredible. Like, I mean, it's a whole different version of everything that everyone loves about the books. It's just incredible. The, vis the visual effects they've got, it's like nothing I've ever seen. I've seen the movies. Um, it was very exciting. I got a little bit lost with some of the characters a bit. You have to be a real super fan, I think, to sort of get into the story. Because I really like films, and I've always really liked the films, but after seeing this, I would definitely say you have to see, forget the films, I mean, this is, this is fantastic. I would definitely come to, to watch this. It's got everything, it's got the real magic that the films miss out, if you know what I mean. The story is split into two parts and follows Harry Potter and his school friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger in adulthood. There's been some controversy over the casting, in particular the decision to cast Noma Duenzini as Hermione Granger provoked debate as the actress is black, whereas Watson, who plays the same character in the movies, is white. J.K. Rowling hit out a critic saying she never specified the ethnicity of any of the characters in her books, and the color of the skin of the actors did not matter to the crowd. No, I think that I like that they brought in a woman of color to play Hermione. So I think that that's a problem that people saw with the books, is that it wasn't very diverse. Harry looks perfect. Everybody is... They all look perfect. Personally, I feel like it's how they should have been all along. Hermione particularly, like, as a woman of color, is just groundbreaking and it's amazing and she suits the role so, so well. Wonderful, amazing, yeah. Previews of The Cursed Child continue until July 30th, when the play officially opens.